that is proof that Napoleon lived in this house. See, I, yo, I knew it, dude. Oh, he says it's a bank vault downstairs. Right. I'm going in. I c I'm in, bro. What is up, guys? We're starting off this video here, parked on the side of the old servants' ruins, like their house. It, I mean, it looks like ruins now. That's how old this place is that we're exploring. Middle of nowhere, surrounded in the forest, just giving us a little path that we can walk. It's gonna be cool. This place is gonna be amazing. I even got butterflies. We might as well just skip through the meadows at this point. Might as well. Just skip through the meadows. Obviously walking through this land, you can see that the chateau's land is not maintained anymore. I think the chateau is right behind these trees. So we should be coming up to, to the big reveal right over here. This place is big and has a lot of history. All right, so we're just gonna keep walking down here. Definitely is an urbex highway. People have walked through here. We're coming up to it. Ain't it crazy how all these castles are just surrounded by bushes and hidden? There it is. All right. You almost wouldn't know there's stuff inside. Definitely, these are planted back in the day. These trees, I don't know too much about them, but they're always at a lot of the famous chateaus. If you look over here, it's big, this place is big. Now what I can tell you about this place is this dates back to the 1700s. And what's crazy about the family that owned this place was very wealthy. They had even mini houses in the field for their relatives, for their guest house, for their families, for, their, for just friends, their servants, all across here. Most of them are in ruins now, but this chateau is still kind of kept up nice. Before this place was called Chateau Decay. And now, after a lot of research and history, Explorers found out that Napoleon stayed here. So they renamed this place Chateau Napoleon. If you don't know Napoleon, you gotta Google him. Can you explain who Napoleon is, Seth? Napoleon Bonaparte was the first emperor of France, and he was also one of the greatest military leaders in history. He had unmatched strategic abilities where literally he was trying to take over Europe in the name of France and create an empire of France, and no one could beat him. Wow. Until eventually he passed. Dang, do you know how he died? He actually died of a rare form of cancer. Jeez. Yeah, guys, Napoleon. He served in even several campaigns. He led armies. Everyone felt safe with him. He was the best. And now here we are, staying in the same house under the same roof as Napoleon himself. You can't make this up. This is crazy. Now, unless our history is wrong, because they only found out about him staying here through letters that his buddy wrote to Napoleon that suggested he was here. The owners of the place originally would just look through, see their valley, see the farms across. It was peaceful. What is up, explorers? First off, this place is great. This place uh, was first called Chateau de Quay. Then they changed the name to Chateau Napoleon, and we're gonna get into that. But first, dating back to the very beginning, this land was first bought in 1464. They put a huge castle here. Um, all the way up until the 1600s, the, the owner died. You know, he had that, that land, that castle passed on to his, his, the next generation. They died. Um, then the place, the, the original castle was sitting in ruins until this new guy bought it in 1600s. Now the guy who bought this land was a lieutenant for the king in a city. Now he bought it around 1640. Now the lieutenant had a daughter and his daughter married a guy that was well known in the army. Now they ended up uh, fighting for the battle of Parma and he got shot into the head. Now the daughter of the lieutenant still ended up getting married again and had four sons. Now in 1736, he inherited this property. And when he inherited this property, he also was wealthy and he decided to build this that we're in right now. So it dates all the way back from the 1400s till now. And this is me leaving out tons of details, by the way. Now in 1795, he died and then he had a son who then took over this place. So, you see how I'm saying it's been passed on to passed on to passed on. This is how old this place is. Now his son, who currently then owned the place after 
he died in 1795. His son was a general in the army. And this, this right here is where it gets amazing. I'm from the United States. Now the son who then inherited this place, who was the army for the Republic, ended up saying, screw it. They all left to New Orleans. New Orleans, that's why the history is amazing to me because they went to New Orleans and you know how the history is like the French Quarter? That's part of this ownership that went there. That's amazing. And then it left abandoned ever since. Can you imagine just ditching this to just go to the United States and live in New Orleans? I, I find it crazy, but times are just different. Like he was, he was a general, he, he, was, he was wealthy. He didn't even care about this place, he just ditched it. Now eventually in 1834, this castle was somehow sold after a daughter and of a general sold this place, somehow owned it or got it and sold it in 1834 to a guy named Pierre. And Pierre did two restorations on this place, which the first one was done in 1891 and the second one was done in 1918. And that was the only remodeling that was ever documented of this place. And then this place was then registered as a historical monument in July of 1960. And that's why it's also can't be taken down or knocked down. Once it's registered as a historical monument, it has to stay up until it falls. It's a shame no one wants to fix it up. Now this is where the history takes a huge turn. A letter was found dating way back that says Napoleon stayed here in this house. Don't know for how long, don't know anything, but he walked these very grounds. This land, he walked it. Napoleon. So I find that amazing. Now after the second restoration in 1918, the family lived in here ever since until they passed away. And then it's been sitting here ever since. It's been abandoned for over 50 years. So what you're seeing is natural decay as we go along this place. It's beautiful, it's amazing. And again, Napoleon, it's rumored that he stayed here. And it was all found through just documentations of friends writing letters to Napoleon, which address stated here. Anyways, guys, let's get on with this video. Again, the reason why it was called Chateau Decay at one point was because, well, look at it. I mean, this is one of the oldest um, mansions that is abandoned in France. And you can tell. I mean, but it's interesting because it's cool because check the colors. Yeah, you see the black mold and this decay, but there's no graffiti. I mean, dude, imagine vandalizing this place. You're going to get haunted by Napoleon himself. You don't want that. Wow, but, but still, for being so old, the history is amazing just because he stayed here. But you got old re remnants of the past right here, pictures. I mean, you got hidden doors, both sides, that's a closet, but this might actually lead somewhere. The fireplace. And you gotta look at how it's designed with the, the trims, the crests. You know, normally maybe because I'm in France, I wouldn't want to come to this place because it's decayed. It, it might not be that good compared to everything else that's here. But man, Napoleon stayed here. That's all that matters. That's that's why. I mean, that's this is this is something amazing to me. Wow, they're actually trying to fix it, putting these support beams to try to hold the roof from collapsing. That's literally what's keeping the roof up. You know what I mean? That bed. You know what too though, you gotta really understand this. France, I wish there was a way France could have like maintained all these abandoned chateaus all across the country in some way. Show its history, what it's stride for and everything like that. It would be, it would have been great. You know, I think these are one of these places that they might regret if it goes down. But what is this? Is this leading somewhere special? Yeah. It led to a whole other area of the room through the door. Look at this. Look. Imagine just not knowing the history, knowing the architecture. You wouldn't know that that was a door if I fully close it. <laughs> just teleported into a whole new section. You know, maybe there's like pictures I'm trying to see if there's before pictures of the place. You'll really be mind blown through the history. I don't see none there. A lot of stuff is thrown out everywhere. Is that like Barry's bathroom? Oh, wow. Bathroom has been somewhat refurbished in a way. I like the colors in it though. 
the beige, brownish, green lime. Shot out to that tub right there. Check out that color. I want that color tub. Damn, places are ransacked. Stuff is thrown everywhere. That's a shame. You know, if someone comes in and fixes it up, it would be a really cool place to still explore and take pictures of. It's like a room or office. Books are still on the shelves at least. That's, I like that. That right there, that piece. I don't know, this place can come down maybe like five, six more years depending on the weather. Oh wow, look at the wallpaper on this one. I'm a thing with wallpaper in France, that's like my thing. I don't really want a house with wallpaper unless my whole house is that Victorian vibe. I, I will gladly get some wallpaper. One day I'm, I'm saving up to get like a Victorian house. That's if, I don't know, we'll just see where we end up in land, right? We'll see. Whoa. The stone, it's all like kind of old stone flooring. They did a good job with the tiles there though to match the walls with the blue. Wow, that's awesome, the sterling silver. Probably worth some money right here. The teapots. A lot of French wine. Huge fireplace to cook their food on. <laughs> I wonder how much good pizzas they made over here. Oh, that's an old oven. Yeah, that's where they're cooking their, cooking their pizza on. Just the vibes though. Oh, I love this. You can see their gate of their house. Oh, what is this? It's like the... Oh, whoa. Ceiling came right through. Again, they were trying to hold up the boards, but... No one wants to buy the place. No one has the money to fix it up or care about it that much. So it's just sitting here. Dang, their living room though. Just think back in the day where they had the sculptures on either side, each side most likely. Their family gatherings all hanging out here. The doors are wide open looking at the views. That is what happened here. The ceiling had some cool art on it at one point. Now it's destroyed, but you can kind of still see. And now it's just left. It's amazing though. Now I do want to further uh, elaborate on the Napoleon idea because they only think he went here because of a letter. So though I'm explaining the video as if he came here, there's still speculations and everything that they don't believe he came here. I'm going with the idea that he did come here because truthfully, I hope he did come here. Um, because again, it was letters from his friends that people were able to find that claimed he went here. but. No one knows. Setup was once really good. In pictures online four years ago, three years ago, shows it a lot better condition than now. It's honestly just sitting here till it collapses and that's, that's it. That's it. This place is gonna sit here until it literally just collapses. There's nothing, no one's gonna fix it. It's just, it's done. You don't even wanna really walk down here. But you can see that art trim, the molding, the ceiling molding right there. And it goes all the way around down there. Look how they did this. The wallpaper, that yellow, matches the window curtains. It, they did such a cool job with this one. The way that the light is shining through here is also pretty beautiful. At one point, there was probably a lot of things here. It, was, it would have been great for a picture and probably people just came and destroyed this place. <laughs> See, I mean, all right, we'll, we'll probably go more down here. I think we should. I think I should go down here first, really quick. I was just a little nervous about going under here. Just like one little like vibration sometimes. 
could make this break on us. You gotta be careful, dude. Exploring is fun and it's amazing. It's my favorite thing to do, but you can get really hurt. I, I know this one kid who like went exploring for the first time during the winter and just kind of just went under the building like how I just did there for, for the roof and an icicle came down. It broke off the roof and hit him and like stabbed him. He was bleeding everywhere. He didn't die or anything, but it's just like, I've been exploring forever. I've never seen it happen to me, never seen it happen to anyone, never even really heard about it. But one person who went exploring for the first time and that's what happened. <laughs> it's just crazy to me. Wow, and then you got rooms like this though. Destroyed, cobwebs all over. Needs a bit of a dust, dust cleaning. And then the carpet for this room. But then you got this. Boom, a setup. Frozen in time. With the chair, look at the blue chair. They even, dude, they went that far to put, to match the wallpaper and everything with the blue chair. Wow, what is this? That's cool art. Some books. Look at this kid right here. Knickknacks. I think there was, uh, maybe at one point, could have been a flower right there, but don't know. I mean, this place has been inherited like multiple times through different owners and generations that who knows who was the last owner to actually stay here. But assuming by looking at the beds, they had children. <laughs> Multiple children. Look at that. Old photos still. Not bad of a setup on this one. Again, you gotta appreciate their beds. Every bed has this cool bed frame. I like it. it makes you feel like you're a king. <laughs> or a queen. Just the way it's designed. I, I can't even imagine like laying on the bed and just looking up and seeing how big this is. I feel lonely. Like if I'm just by myself, I'd feel lonely in this room because it's so big and it's just, it's just you. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's a weird, to me, it's a weird feeling. I don't know. I don't even know if there's an upstairs. There might not be because it was just made so big. I mean, there might not even be a second floor. I got to watch out here. That's why probably this board's here for me to move the weight all around so I can walk and not break the floors. Okay, so now we explored this whole way in the back. We ended up back here. Wow, still awesome. You know, one thing I wanna mention is I got Dave over here, I got Dan down there, and it's so big that you actually don't even really hear everybody. And then walking into this room, we have a freaking pool table over here. Ceilings collapsing all over. But that's insane. What is this right there? I can't even see. Another secret door. Oh, it's like a, probably a closet. Yeah, an old closet. Oh, some spray. That's the first spray paint I've seen in France, I think, in a building. Jeez. I have pictures of what this was without this collapse. And we're going to slip them in here throughout this video so I can show you what it was even four years ago to from now. That's the thing, if you don't take care of this place, if you don't seal the roof, all this will come down just because of the weather, the water. It loosens it, softens it up, the mold, it destroys it. If your roof is good, most likely a place can stay like this for a long time if it's just sealed. What is this? Maybe part of the house? Where the heck am I going? All right, well, we're, not defi we're definitely not going up those. Maybe we'll go on down there. And what's over here? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, oh, I'm going down here. There's a bat. We're about to go into the dungeons. Secret tunnels. For real. This place gets better and better. What's in here? Oh, they're wine cellar. Gotta watch out for the bats. If there are bats here, I don't know. Either way. the wine cellar at one time. A lot of bottles. Must drink wine every day. 
in the comments below, do you guys drink wine every day? <laughs> it's like a dungeon. You can store a whole car down here. What is that? What is in there? I don't know. It's like a, a nuclear bomb fallout shelter room. Can you see what's in there? I can't. I can't make it out. It's definitely, yo, who knows what's in there? That's cool. I didn't expect that. It kind of don't even match, like, the rest of the place. Just like, boom, bomb shelter, something secret. Big barrel, but... Oh, that's the birds, I got scared. <laughs> what is this? Sign. Table. I like the design on this. It's like 3D, it's like popping out. I mean, it is, but... Rooms really are massive though. I wonder if there's like any, you take a metal detector down here, you might find gold. <laughs> you know, you just don't know. What is this gate closed for? Definitely are exploring, that's for sure. Whoa. What is this? Were they making their wine? Was this like a huge thing to make wine in? So, oh, more bats, but these are huge barrels. No, they're, de yeah, they're making like wine. I think this was the distillery for it. Damn. I mean, imagine going in there. I think there's even carriages here. Well, this one's closed. It's closed down there. Yo, what's going on? You said something about Seth found something? Where, where is he? So, you've been in the room with the pool table? Yeah. Yeah, go back in that room, take a look at what's on the side. Oh, dude, I don't think I've seen this side of the room house yet. Dude, so there's there's some sort of like barn or something, and the barn has like uh, those carriages to, for horses, but I don't know where it is. It's somewhere out of here. There's lots of uh, different buildings. In fact, where we parked the car? Might be in there. It could be, yeah, we gotta look. Dude, the place is so big. That's the problem. It's so big. Yo, dude, I was gonna, yo, Dan says you found something. Where, if you lead me to it. Oh, is it what I showed you? Yep. Yeah. Come on, yeah. bro. Let's go. Have you explored this entire first floor? I thought I did. Yeah, well, you, oh, you I trust me. If you didn't see this, then you missed something. Bro, I, I can't, look, in detail, looking everything. Have you seen the basement? No, I, I Basement just, has big wine barrels. I just, oh, that's cool. I just finished the first floor, though. I don't think there's a second. I don't think so either. It just looks like an attic. Yeah. Bro, I can't believe this place. It's so cool. Now, Napoleon was probably here, which is also nutty. Probably. Most likely. Oh, guys, he has no idea what he's in for right now. Well, dude, the letters say he he was here because of the friends. Oh. Souvenir of Napoleon? So I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Because we have Google Translate. <laughs> Thank God for Google. That is a Napoleonic souvenir from the Napoleonic Society. The president of that society sent that document to the last owner of this house. It talks about how they're grateful for him owning the place, blah, blah, blah. They, they quoted Napoleon on things that he said. That is proof that Napoleon lived in this house. See, I, yo, I knew it, dude. This is so sick. <laughs> I have the picture on my phone. I, I have it screenshotted and everything, so. All right, so let's zoom in on the history so we can get some people who might not believe us if this is it. But regardless, regardless of anything, bro. Yeah, you don't just get a Napoleonic souvenir for no reason, yeah, you know what I mean? It's true, but dude, so listen, this is how the, the, the whole thing was with, with Napoleon. What happened was is they had letters that 
Napoleon's friends wrote right. and they addressed it to this place yeah. and that's what happened so it made sense and understood that he stayed here we don't know for how long we don't know anything we just know that he was here right. whether he owned some of this or he stayed here on a break right. because everyone who owned this building was a marshal or general in the war that's oh, the thing. Yep. Okay, that's interesting. Yep. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I have the, I have a, a website that shows the whole family who, who lived here and everything. Wow. And it's crazy. So everything's making sense. This place is cool because awesome. it's not about what's left. No. It's about where, where we are in the history on the ground. Exactly. Back inside this room now, this is actually a room I did not see. Is that, it's like a replica model of a cannon figures. This whole house was pretty much house of war at this point. Huge ass log. They must have had a fire here recently. Whoa, they're burning a baby. Literally, they burned a baby. Jeez. I love this setup though. This is great. The hell is that? Is that a taxidermist chicken head? I don't know. Don't know. Wow, a whole freaking arch pole. Just the pole is just hanging. It's heavy. Wow. This is my favorite room. Look at this. Dang. I can't get over this. Portraits of the family who lived here last. Where is everyone? What's the questions? Where'd they go? Why would they ditch it? Was it just not enough money? Did they just downsize? Did they die? Like, the the last family lived here. What happened? It's crazy to me. Somehow this got ripped off the fireplace or it just collapsed well moving along to what i oh my god i felt like i was dude that was it i stepped there i felt like i was going down the last two rooms is right here i love that sunray coming through this building though you can hear those bugs you kind of hear them in animes a lot, in Japanese animes. That's it though. It's beautiful. Even as a screenshot picture right here. Yep, the memory is right there. Whoever lived here last. Shining right through the overgrown. Oh, pretty much. I don't think I've even seen this room. It keeps, it keeps going though into so many rooms. Don't get me wrong, it is nuts. And that is it. We just explored the entire Napoleon's Chateau. Chateau Napoleon. That's the codename for the Urbex name if you want to look that one up, by the way. We don't know what's actually out here because it's hard to see what's even across. The best way if you ever run into these situations, if you're explorers or exploring in general, you already know this, but for the viewers that don't, you use Google Satellite so you can see like what was that building that you can't see here, but you can make it out on the roof. You can see the roof uh, through the overgrownness. That's where we're probably gonna look through and trek to next because there are, I know there's like carriages, horse carriages dating way back in the 1800s, maybe 1700s for sure. Some were here, unless they were moved, they were removed. They could have been downstairs, but I didn't see any downstairs. So it's either they're gone Oh, there's somewhere outside of here in another building. Oh, he says it's a bank vault downstairs. Right? No, no. I thought it was a secret, like, no, tunnel it's, system. It's a bank vault, right? Been put in um, maybe in the 70s or the 80s. But if you walk around the side of it, you know the steps you come down? Yep. People have dug in through the top of it, and you can get in the bank, bank vault by climbing through. Look. What? Yeah, yeah. Yo, take me there real quick. Yeah? I just want to see it. You can climb in. Seth will be able to easily get in. Seth, go get us the gold, bro. Yo, I'm gonna, I didn't even know that that was down there. Holy yeah. God. Let's climb up some ladders, look. Oh, they snuck underneath. No, over the top. Yeah, over the top. Yeah, look, that's in the bank vault. What the heck? Let's go check the bank vault real quick, bro. <laughs> we still have to find the hidden ghost carriages apparently that oh, exist yeah. here. Tell me this ain't Uncharted. I'm just saying. Nathan Drake right here, this is the gang. All right, you ready? <laughs> yup. Wait, so where did they dig it, bro? We're gonna find it. 
Because I, I was thinking like up here. Let's see. Is it over here? I haven't seen the basement yet, so we're, we're experiencing this for the first time. Oh, it's right here. Whoa, that's this what this it. was. Yeah, look at it. They smashed it out, dude. I walked past and I was that's, like, that's the vault right there? Yeah. Whoa. I walked past all this and I'm like, what's all this rubble glue on the floor? And I'm like, hmm. Yeah, well, if I was a bank robber, that's exactly how I'd do it. Damn. Damn. They are definitely trying to get in there. I'm, like, I'm gonna go and sit up there in a second. Let's see what you. we got. Yep. All this stuff here, bro. Really? Uh, papers right now that I'm seeing. Bro, there's crates. A lot of crates. I don't know, I'm going in. I'm going in. I, c I could barely fit. I'm in, bro. I'm in. Bro. It's full of crates, dude. This is where guns were hiding, I think. It's all crates with hay. But dude, it's scary because when you're in, you can't get down. I'm not I'm gonna turn around and get out because once you're up here, I mean, you're kind of stuck. The drop is so big, you won't be able to come back out. Well, the thing is, I'm looking at the crates right now, and they're all been taken out. Whatever was in here is gone. Oh, what is this? Letters. We can see it. So there's one crate in the bottom left, but I know they've all been removed. They're just, they just look like they've been not opened. But you can see all the hay. Everything's down there. It's just all gone. As expected, they already came down here. They wouldn't just leave one crate, you know what I mean? <laughs> look, how, look how you look, it's mad funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're gonna have to grab this, I'm telling you, and shine hold some on, light for me. And then I'm gonna have to somehow turn around without breaking. Oh, he covered barely fits for this hole. It's how they got out. He dragged where bone flew out. Dude, it's oh god, it's scary in there, dude. That is the most <laughs> uncharted thing I think I've ever seen. It felt like uncharted. De this is awesome, though. It's like I'm gonna be dead by the time I get through here. No, you can do it, bro. I did it. I'm fatter than you. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go feet. I mean, he's he's not big, but anyways, this is the closest. I was just saying, yeah, this is the closest we've ever been to finding like gold or actual treasure. I bet you, if we had a metal detector and we place it down there there'll be gold that might have been buried that was lost. Just think about the people who actually dug through there and what they found inside that. that. Dude, I'm jealous. They found probably Napoleon's gold. They, they're probably living it oh, up on a so beach crazy. somewhere right now. They probably bought an island, I don't know. Oh, this God. is 600 years of history down there. Se no, seriously, yeah, yeah. It is. Oh, you're going the other way in? Yeah. Oh man, I didn't think that way. Watch out because when you put your knees in the middle of that, it, it can sink in. Okay. You're in the vault, baby. All right. Be an explorer and get down there and get the footage. So how are they getting out? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. You're so. <laughs> oh. You're like Pooh Bear who's stuck in the tree for honey. Oh. Where's your honey? There was a bat that just touched your butt, bro. Really? Oh my God. This is. I swear we're professional explorers. No way. What is that? Did they open up the door? Yo! Yo! Dude, yes! Okay, we're guys, not stuck in this safe. Guys, we did not destruct any property in the making of this. All we did was just open the door by just, you know, shoving it open. What he said? We're not trying to steal anything again. We're just here documenting. It is funny. Oh, uh, so... What what a mission, boys! Yeah. So there's nothing left. Well, we, we, I haven't checked those two crates yet, but I'm pretty sure that there's no like valuable stuff left. See, the hay made me think there was something so oh, valuable in there. Too late. Yeah, we did though. To talk about explorers. the treasure. What? Well, 100 years ago, I bet you. 50 years ago, 60 is probably when the treasure was so been there. But we do have a ton of stuff left behind, like notes. Oh, and that's some cold in here, boys. You can see that. that <laughs> I yeah, went, I went to climb my camera and the whole unit inside fell. Yeah, check it out. This is actually um, addressed to the madam that lived here and the name of the chateau itself. Wow. 
Yeah, what's up with the hole through there? I bet you they did that to see if there's like hidden treasure that was behind it. So they did that just in case. Most likely that's what it was. Well, there's old paintings there, so these probably were. Uh, oh, really rare. could have been Da Vinci's paintings, dude, for all you know. Seriously. Even if we find nothing. It's the idea that once was. And, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter if we were late. It's exactly. still cool as hell. What's in the bag? Nothing. Empty. Oh. It was wrapped. That was an art piece wrapped. Yeah. We were too late, guys. Yeah. But we made it in. We did. Definitely the Outer Banks, guys. Subscribe if you're new here. If you want to see a bunch I'm of stuff. This is it. Do you think some of this is good? Someone came in through the roof, boys. Oh, no. I know. Came in through the ceiling as well. Oh my god. Dude, oh. That's like Money Heist. That's sad. The Netflix show. They always get beat to it. What is this? I want to know what was said. Just some random stuff. There's some cool keys I found though, right next to the safe. Is there anything in that cabinet? Nah. I just want to say, this is one of the reasons why I love to explore is like, again, you go to these places, every video that we make, we don't exactly know what we're going to find. Anything can happen in abandoned places, dating back so many years, depending on the history. Every adventure is a different adventure. And when you're with the right crew, the right people that you trust, some people are willing to do things that others aren't doing, or we work together to do this. Some people find things that we don't find, we miss. We work together. <sighs> it makes the experience so fun because we really are exploring. We're adventuring through the past, uncharted. We're doing like the Goonies. We're doing Stand By Me. We're doing uh, Outer Banks. This is our life. If you're new here, please subscribe, um, like, share. We're taking over. National Treasure style, this is us, but we have ideas for a new series coming out. I'm not gonna get into it, but it's gonna be like Outer Banks. I'm not gonna say anything yet, but that's a new, a new series that we're gonna be working on. So if you wanna see that, if you like what you're seeing here, get ready, because you're not gonna wanna miss this. We're gonna be the only YouTubers filming like this, so. If you see anyone else from here on out, it's because they're copying us because they've seen this video. So, anyways, I'm exploring with Josh. Like and subscribe, hit the bell button. We're gonna keep going. We still have to check the outside of this place. We don't know what we're gonna see. We're looking for these ghost carriages at this point that might not even be here anymore. Now leaving out the front door. We're gonna show you what the front actually looked like. I'm stuck because this bag's so big. All right, let's see what this place looked like. One level of It's not bad. It's like more built for like long length than height or second floors. This is the gate out. Someone just like cut metal bars through it. Cut the metal bars out just to walk through. Looking through Google Maps, this is how we do a lot of our work. There's Napoleon's Mansion right here that looks like the carriages might be here. All right, yeah, it only has to be here. These two where my thumb is, or where we first parked the car. Dang, that's a huge tower out of here. Looks like Rapunzel's Tower. You see it? Yeah. Is it thick in the woods? Yeah. For all we know, it, the ghost carriages would have been in the basement, but they took them out. Because you see how they were doing work, because there's a lock. Yeah. yeah, hang on, let's see. Maybe there's like a little path this way. I mean, we've seen everything. It's just like these cool old, old carriages. All right, right here looks like maybe there's a path. I don't know. Right down here to the right. Yeah, you can see it. Everything is so taken over by nature. You need Google Satellite to even locate something. All right, we might, if, this, if it's not here, this is it. Hey, can I go through there? Hang on. These, these, yeah, are, these are like your old sack barrows, so the people would carry the veg and, uh... Oh! Yeah! Okay! So these would date back, like, Victorian plus. Then they would have been in here, then. They, they might just be right here on the right. Tell me they're there, bro. No. Dang! Oh, we've tried. <laughs> bro, they would have been right here. This I, is where they would have been. I think they've sold them off or done something with them. Yeah. We try. Good try. Good try. All right, explorers, we are now finished with today's video. We're back in the car. We are on a big road trip in France, hitting up some of the best and hidden spots all across France, actually. Mansions, castles, hospitals, and we're ending it at the Paris Catacombs, finding and looking for the hidden rooms that maybe haven't been filmed yet. 
it's gonna be epic so stay tuned and keep watching till then I hope you loved today's video it was a pure treasure hunting video for us we went in we got dirty we discovered random things hope to find treasure Napoleon's treasure but we didn't but that's all part of the adventure guys that Goonies lifestyle right here uh, so I'm gonna end it here check out the merch check out my uh, Instagram photos and thanks for the support like and subscribe rise above just go out there and explore peace and thanks for watching